That's the one where we bring the feet in, toes straight ahead, hands on the thighs, pull up tall out of the spine. And then from here, chin to the chest, slowly rounding forward, staying solid in your legs. And you just wanna take a note, where can you reach your shin, your ankle, your feet? All right, if it's easy for you to get down to about the ankles or farther, then we'll go all the way to the ground when we work on our deadlifts coming up soon. If you're someone that's between your knees and your ankles and you feel quite a bit of stiffness in the back, then we'll do a little bit shorter range of motion on our deadlifts. So first we do one more cycle through, starting with our paused march. So stand up nice and tall, two, one, and here we go. We're gonna go 30 seconds to each, pause march, into our stepping or jumping jacks. And then we'll finish with that march and punch. That will conclude our warm up. Nice work, everybody. Not focused on speed here, but more control. Lifting through the hips. Nice, 10 seconds left. Make sure your chest is nice and tall, shoulders stacked over the hips. Wonderful, either step jacks or seal jacks. You can go overhead or to the side. Now my rhythm's off. Open, close, open, close. There we go. Good. Halfway. Nice work. Two, one, and we're gonna finish with that march and punch. Reaching across the body, knees come up, toes come up. Focus on that breathing, exhale. I'll usually exhale as I reach, inhale as the arms come down. So the breathing is pretty high with this. Just make sure you don't get dizzy and find what works for you. Awesome. A few more. And rest, fantastic. Feel free to grab a drink of water. All right, we're gonna do just a little bit more to wake up the hamstrings. But now we're gonna go single leg. So heel down, toe up, slight bend the knee, either across the chest or behind the head. Let's bow forward three to five times on the same side, and then we'll switch. So you should feel how this really kind of isolates that hamstring as you're bowing forward. The leg that's supporting you, just make sure that heel stays solid. Grip with the toes. Very good. And after about five or less, we'll go ahead and switch sides. Same thing, other side. Plant that foot, heel down, toe up, and then we bow forward from here. Really want to emphasize being long in the spine as you send the hips back and straight up. Up, good. Couple more. And down, fantastic. Moving into an opening for the hip flexor, step your right foot forward, left foot back, and let's start with the arms across the body. You're gonna shift the hips forward, engage in that left glute, and then rotate, look over your right shoulder. Inhale at the center, exhale as you turn. Good, let's go about one more there. Very good, and then switch legs. Opposite leg steps back, front foot on the heel, and then same idea, just slightly shift those hips forward and rotate towards the lead leg. Feel like an opening in the front of that hip on the back leg. You might feel it a little bit up into the abdomen. Good job, couple more. Very nice. You can either repeat that one or come a little bit deeper into the hip flexors. We're gonna look to grab the foot. You can do this lying down if you prefer or put the foot on the chair. Look to grab that foot, pull the heel towards the glute. Feel free to balance on something. Good job, we'll go about 20 seconds from here. Pull that heel towards the glute. 
and just gently kind of pushing the thigh back. You're just looking to open the front part of the leg, hip flexors, quad. Fantastic. In between legs, go ahead and stand nice and wide. You can hold onto a chair, some countertop if you'd like, and you're gonna go side lunging here, opening the inner thigh, back to center, and then shift to the opposite side. Good job. Both feet are firmly planted. You can either grip the floor with your big toe. Just a little opening in those inner thighs. Well done. All right, and then we're gonna go same idea, but on the opposite leg for the quad stretch. You can feel free to balance on something. We're looking to grab the right foot, pull the heel towards the glute. If you can't get the foot, repeat that st stagger stance one that we did before. All right, good. 15 more seconds from here. Nice sharing, good tall chest position. Good, right, Laura. Three, two, one, and relax. And you're also welcome if you're using like a dumbbell, you can put it vertical. So I'll sit up a little bit taller. Sumo deadlift first, nice tall chest. Two, one, and here we go. Engage the glutes, over and down. Good job. Remember we're working for 45 seconds here. There's 20. I'll try to look to give you 30 seconds as well. If you want to have a little bit shorter interval, you're welcome to it. There's 30. Nice work. Chin in, tall chest. And three, two, one. There's set one. Nice job. Move into the overhead press. You're welcome to stay standing. I'm just gonna come seated. So it's a little bit easier to see. Weights or the bands, two, one, and here we go. So a lot of our movements, we focus on keeping those shoulders back and down. Our overhead press is our exception. On this one, we're gonna encourage that shoulder blade to move up, slide along the rib cage, push high to overhead. Very good. Good, almost at 30 seconds. If you're someone that tends to get quite sore like in your upper traps or neck area, you may wanna limit it to 30. That's our 30 seconds right now. So don't hesitate to rest early. Very good. And there's our 45, everybody rest. Very good. Grab a drink, that's our first set. We'll have 30 seconds rest and then we'll go back to those deadlifts. I'm gonna to continue to, to show the deadlift. If you were here on Thursday, we gave that option of that high pull position. If you want uh, that extra challenge, if you have a lighter weight and you wanna do a little bit more with it, feel free to do that high pull with the elbow outside the shoulder. Otherwise, back to our deadlifts, two, one, and here we go. Engage in the glute. Over, down. Pushing your feet through the floor. Staying engaged in your midsection, nice and solid. Nice job. Good, there's 30 seconds. And three, two, one, there's our 45. Good job, overhead press. I'm gonna show with the bands this time. So with the bands, I like, I can put it around my leg or on this instance, I'm just gonna literally sit on it. So I'll put it right underneath the hips. Three, two, one, and here we go. Pushing up to overhead, weights or bands. And you can even do an overhead reach without any resistance. 
Just helps you maintain that ability to push up to overhead and to reach for things out of the cupboards. First 15 seconds done. Ideally, we like to try to see the hand reach where it's like right over top of the head. Sometimes we lose that range of motion and we end up kind of reaching out in front. It's all right, just do your best to work on it. There's 30 seconds. And typically when our range of motion is out in front, we wanna focus on mobility for our upper body, our chest, opening up our pecs, and rest. Good job. 30 seconds rest, and then we're gonna do some of those stretches after this next set. We'll have our third set coming up in 20 seconds with those deadlifts. Nice job, everybody. 10 seconds. So remember on the sumo stance, we're having our feet just outside the hips, toes mostly pointing straight ahead. We can have a slight toe out, and here we go. Engage and stand, over and down. Keep your breathing consistent. There's 15 seconds. Good. Nice high pull position, Jean. Very nice. There's our 30 seconds. Almost there. If you're going all 45, two, one, and rest there. Rotating to our overhead press. Bands or dumbbells. This is the end of our overhead work today. Three, two, one, here we go. Nice and smooth. Fantastic, that's a great overhead position, Shirley. Nice work, good. First 15 done. Excellent, Kathy. There you go, Laura. That's a good stretch to do right now. Making good use of your time. 30 seconds done. Feel free to rest early if you'd like. Otherwise, hang in there for another 10 seconds. We're going to 45 total. Two. One, and all done there. Nice job, everybody. First set done. All right, let's start by opening up the upper body. If you wanna make your way to a doorway or a wall, or I'm gonna use Mr. Tree here. Heck stretch first. I'll start on the side. So elbow, shoulder height, step forward, and then you wanna lean your upper body into it. So you start to feel an opening in the front of the chest. Turn your body away. We are looking over the opposite shoulder. And let's take three nice deep breaths here. Breathe in. And on your exhale, just think about moving into that stretch a hair farther. Two more cycles. Breathe in. And out. Once more. Here over the shoulder. And relax. Very good. Make your way to the other side. Inside leg steps forward, leaning into it, and then again, turning your body away, looking over the opposite shoulder. Three cycles of breathing here. Nice deep breath in, and all the way out, twice more. Last one. Good, and shake it out. If you're at a doorway, if you're against a wall, you might wanna come over to a chair or something. If you're in a doorway, grab onto the side, walk back, hang back, and then this loose arm is gonna reach under. You're gonna peer underneath that shoulder. And then breathe into the area where you feel that tension. It's usually somewhere along the side body. Other times you'll feel it in the low back, just depends. And when you're ready, go ahead and come on up out of that. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. Walk it around, grab on, walk back, 
free arm is gonna scoop under and breathe. It's one of my favorites. Stretch out that lat. Good job. Take your time coming out of that. If you haven't gotten any water in a while, feel free to go ahead and grab a drink. And then we're going to make our way into a seated position for a little bit of a spinal twist and one more shoulder opener. And then we're going to wake up the hips a little bit before our next circuit. So you can seat in a chair or you can mimic this on the ground. All right, so first one, feet flat or cross the leg over. We're gonna go seated twist with our shoulder roll. So hand on the same side shoulder, roll it back about 10 times, peering over that shoulder. And as you're rotating around, you wanna think, see if you can feel that shoulder blade kind of coming up and down and rotate it back along the rib cage. Good job, when you're ready, go ahead and switch sides. Same thing, other direction. Crossing over, looking over that shoulder, and three times here, rotating through. It's three times, sorry, upwards of 10. We do a lot of threes here. Breathing into it. Good job. From there, you can either lie on your back or follow me.